Welcome to day three of CES 2023 and joining me today in the digital studio as co-host with the most, Mr. James Kataki. What up, James? Second most, at least. Second hey. most. We're, we're, we're on the same level. James, uh, you know, we know you're the host of the C-Space studio, but I'd love to hear more and really tell us what do you do for CES and the CTA? Okay, so C-Space, not everybody at CES knows about this, but over at the ARIA, there is like a convention within the convention. It is called C-Space. It is where marketers, branders, advertising thought leaders come to talk, to meet, to show off what they've got, and to learn about how they're gonna be applying a lot of this technology in the work that they do. I host interviews there. We hosted 47 interviews over the last two days. Come on now, with 47, thought leaders. Four, 47. 47 interviews. We're gonna be showing some of them <laughs> and talking a lot more about those later, but very excited to be here with you. Um, Is your brain mush yet? Because my brain is mush, but you know, I'm living on the energy of CES, so it's being electrified with uh, all the electric vehicles in the show floor right here. Oh yeah, that's absolutely. Um, also, maybe you can tell people what else you do for CT as a whole. You know, you're sure. here for the convention, but you do a lot of other stuff. Sure, I'm also the host of the CES Tech Talk podcast, which gets people hyped uh, for CES, and we're gonna continue to be doing that with some interviews from C-Space after the show, so people can tune into that and subscribe. But yeah, I, uh, I love talking about technology. As you know, it's probably the best job in the world to be talking about what's coming up. Absolutely. Now, um, also, right, the show has always been about keynotes. We have C-Space Studio in your series, but keynotes that, you know, I don't know, you've been kind of in this room, like just focus in with 47, but um, for me, keynotes, like one of the ones that stood out for me was BMWs, only because it was crazy to know that Arnold Schwarzenegger came out to yeah. help promote their Vision D car with the E-Ink, and we, we haven't, Past CESs, we would sometimes get celebrities and like randomly they would just pop up. I don't think Arnold Schwarzenegger was on the top of my celebrities that might show up at CES <laughs> at 2023. We were even in a booth um, in later on in, during an augmented reality segment that we did. And Martha Stewart showed up in the booth. Wow, in, in actual in, reality. Yeah, yeah, okay. in, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. In real reality, but the keynotes have always been just like kind of a, a centering part yeah. of CES. And people might think like, oh the, oh, the celebrities are kind of superfluous, so there's kind of added on. No, they're actually really integrated into this, and a lot of yeah. the celebrities that come here are really interested in how technology will take, you know, even their own brands to the next level. Yeah. Um, also, we've had interviews here on stage. We're going to continue to have more interviews. Uh, Canada will be coming in today. Yes. Uh, yesterday, we talked to the Indie Autonomous Challenge ahead, uh, Paul Mitchell. So we continue to bring a lot of different content in different ways here. And because this is day three of the show, but day four, there's still there's still people coming to the show floor, yeah. but we're going to keep on bringing up people here. Now, we also have a session coming up, uh, an unparalleled health tech partnering opportunity from our friends at BCG as well. And as a reminder to people, we've got even more content, not just here on Channel 1, but also Channels 2, 3, and 4. The Indy Autonomous Challenge, as you mentioned, is actually going to be happening. That's autonomous racing vehicles at the Las Vegas Biggest Motor Speedway, one of my favorite events here today on Channel 1 at 1 p.m. People should not miss that. And they should also not miss some of the C-Space content that we're bringing right here, yeah. including my interview with the CMO of Logitech, and that's going to be coming up later, too. Yeah. Um, you know, we got a chance, I got a chance to explore the show floor a lot more, which is crazy. Um, they don't let me out of Aria. So what, no, what's been happening here in the show floor, Brian? Okay, so, Tell me everything. I mean, everything. <laughs> Just summarize it for me. <laughs> so we did this thing where we wanted to find the coolest stuff on the floor, the stuff that you know people are buzzing about, but maybe is a little unexpected. And one of the cool things is we've seen how augmented reality, right, the metaverse, one of the themes oh, here yeah. for the show. But we're seeing real true advancements in software. Magic Leap makes their first appearance publicly mm. here at the show, but with augmented reality glasses, we're getting closer. We're not, we're not there yet, but we're getting closer to the point where I saw from uh, T-Sales booth, the Ray Neo X2s, they, they are the first AR glasses that are thin enough where you're saying, ooh, we're, 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 we're just there. You can even see here, yes, they look big, but you don't see any big chunky attachment. They're not oh. wired to anything. Um, and they did a great real-time translation. We've seen a lot of renders of, oh, talking to someone in a different language and it shows up in English in the bottom. Like, they showed me the demo and it was incredible. I also got to check out uh, in LG's booth their wireless OLED TV tech. So I'm not sure if you've heard of what they're doing, but a lot of times people want like a really clean TV, no wires, no cables whatsoever. So now they have a box on the side um, and what it allows to do is as long as it has a line of sight, it's mm. transmitting 4K, 120 Hertz, audio and video signals, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, to a, what was it, a 90 
97-inch TV, I believe. So my clutter it, is all on the side. I don't, yeah. do, I, do I, all I need is a power cable, I assume. Yeah, it's, it's just a box on the side. Now, so that, that's for those really minimalist homes that just like look really sleek. And for TV junkies that have been hoping, this has kind of been a holy grail. We, I've seen wireless demos of audio and video for as long as I can remember here, but now LG has kind of put it in their own ecosystem and is allowing it to happen. So, so you're going to definitely want to check that out, yeah. So much to talk about, so much coming up. Hey, that'll do it for us for now. Up next, BCG prevents a digital health tech partnering opportunity, presents rather, followed by the era of sustainable consumer electronics panel. Remember, on-demand sessions and keynotes will be available after the show. And James and I, we're going to see you after the sessions. Enjoy this, do you know what I'm going to say? Is CES. CES.